Hey, it's Kel here. So today I'm gonna show you how you can replace the fuel pump on Nissan Tida. So we have a new one, and I'm gonna show you step by step. This is our car here, Nissan Tida. The problem that we have, the gauge is show the correct level of the fuel. Like now, we switch on, and we see there. It show almost empty so this is a old fuel gauge we're gonna replace and then we're gonna see how we, it's read and so the fuel gauge is under this back seat here so we're gonna remove it so how you can remove this we're gonna go under the seat here they have the not this one you remove this cover you find the first and there is another one over there we're gonna do the same thing and before we remove we're gonna push this in front by hold this and push in front all right so this nut is 14 millimeter so we're gonna use 14 millimeter as you can see here so after we remove the bolt now we're gonna fold this seat this way we fold it like this we got two nuts here can remove this cover the first one and another one is over there Okay, so we can open this and this one. So we remove the bolt and over there we pull this up and then go like that. So now you can put like this and then we can get access from this side here. So this is where they put the fuel pump. So now we're gonna open over there, here and there. All right, so now we open it. We're gonna remove the electric cable first, and then we're gonna follow with the other stuff. So it has some data inside, so in order to Remove the use the vacuum. Start all of them like that. Unless it's gonna enter in the fuel. All right. So after remove the. Uh, electric cable and then I remove the pipe that send the fuel to the engine now we're gonna open it here after we unscrew this then we're gonna pull this up yeah like that and then we're gonna remove it oh, yeah slowly slowly all right so this is the old one and this is a new one and if you see from the old one you're gonna see you see those circuit are finished so you cannot read really sometimes you can read sometimes you cannot this is a new one the new one is good as you can see so we're gonna put this and check the reading but first we have to put this beyond over there so that when we put inside you can show the reading we're gonna use this rubber ring from the old one I'm gonna remove it and put in the new one yeah because it's the one who sealed the fuel pump all right, so now we're gonna put the new one inside. Okay, 
we're gonna start putting the the boiler inside all right so before you put the cap make sure the rubber is inside and you press it like this and it's on the position and then you're gonna take this one and screw it so after we tight uh, we're gonna connect the hose that take the fuel to the engine but first we remove this knob here take it out if you have uh, one of this clip you can use it so that you can tie it unless the fuel gonna come in out all right after we tie this clip here we're gonna put back the electric cable it's very easy so now we put electric cable back and we put this hose now we're gonna test if it's working so after change the new one we're gonna see if the cage is gonna read it okay so now it's on the cage is reading more than half tank before it was below so this is a new one if this video is helpful don't forget to subscribe see you to the next one